Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. In this video, I will show you how to create a Venn diagram in Excel. We all know how a nonverbal presentation helps in better interpretation of data. One such way to represent data is by using a Venn diagram. This type of representation is mostly used to represent the similarities and differences between one or a group of data. Creating a Venn diagram in Excel is pretty much similar to creating or customizing other graphs or charts. I will show you how to create a Venn diagram in Excel in two simple ways. First, let us see how to create a Venn diagram using SmartArt. To create a SmartArt Venn diagram, navigate to Insert. Under Illustrations from the dropdown, click on SmartArt. This opens up a Choose a Smart Art Graphic dialog box, which shows the different templates to create a Smart Art Graphic. Click on Relationship. Scroll down and click on the Venn diagram you want to select. Clicking on the choice of your Venn diagram shows up a description for the selected graphic. Click OK. This populates the basic layout of the Venn diagram in the middle of the Excel sheet. To move the whole chart, click anywhere near the circle. This changes the mouse pointer to a four-sided pointer. Click and drag to move the chart. If you want to resize the chart, place your mouse pointer on the anchor points. This changes the mouse pointer to a two-sided pointer. Click and drag to resize the chart. Likewise, you can move each circle and resize them. Click on the circle. Use the borderline to move the circle and use the anchor points to resize the circles. You can add text to the Venn diagram by clicking on the text places or by using the text pane. To insert text in the overlapping spaces, navigate to Insert. Under Illustrations, click the drop down from Shapes and select the text box. Left click and drag the cursor to create a text box in your preferred place. Enter your text. Though the text is added, you can see the text box is populating oddly. To remove that, right click on the text box and click on Format Shape. This opens a Format Shape pane on the right side of the Excel sheet. Under Shape Options, select No Fill in the both Fill and Line dropdowns. To add another shape, navigate to SmartArt Design. Under Create Graphic, click on Add Shape. This adds another shape to the original Venn diagram to represent the data. In case you feel like there is no need for an additional shape, you can always delete them. Just select the shape you want to delete and click on the Delete key. You can use the Smart Art Design and Format option in the main menu to add additional customizations. Another way to create a Venn diagram is by using shapes. This is a less common way to create Venn diagrams. However, this method lets you customize the Venn diagram in your favored way. To create a Venn diagram using shapes, navigate to Insert. Under Illustrations, from the Shapes dropdown, select Oval. This lets you draw any shape in any dimension depending on your preference. To create a basic three-circle Venn diagram, click, drag the mouse pointer, and create Draw Three Circles. Initially, the circles would be opaque and show no resemblance to a Venn diagram. To change them, we need to reduce their opacity. Select all three circles by holding Ctrl, right-click on the circles, and click on Format Object. This opens up a Format Shape pane on the right side of the screen. In Shape Options, under Fill, increase or decrease the transparency of the solid fill. This gives us the required Venn diagram. You can move the chart, add text by using the above-mentioned steps in the previous method. You can change the style, 
color, and layout of the shapes and text using the shape format option. That is all everyone. In this video, we saw how to create and customize the Venn diagram using two methods. You can use either of the methods based on your requirements. Feel free to leave any queries or thoughts in the comment section below. We are always happy to help you. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full blog article that this video came from, please click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.